then as you stay here longer in Canada, you don't even realize how Canada changed you and makes you a better person. Words of inspiration and appreciation from Canada's newest citizens will take you to a special citizenship ceremony. This is a country which is built on the shoulders of immigrants and it is a young, dynamic population here in the Greater Toronto Area. Making the most of the opportunities Canada provides, how the contributions of immigrants are being recognized. Hello, I'm Maravel Tarouk. Welcome to Our Toronto. A Canadian citizenship ceremony is a time-honoured way of welcoming new citizens to the country. Those ceremonies are taking on added meaning this year as we celebrate Canada's 150th birthday. I had the privilege of taking part in a ceremony during Toronto's Luminato Festival, and I've always thought it's something every Canadian born here should experience. So... Here's a little bit of this special tradition honoring Canada's newest citizens. It's an unusual place to hold a citizenship ceremony in the famous Spiegel tent that served as a venue for this year's Luminato Festival, adding to a special day that started with roundtable discussions with new and longtime citizens to talk about what it means to be Canadian. I would only like to say this is land of opportunity. There is endless opportunity in this country. All we need to do is, do is try hard and work for it. And as you stay here longer in Canada, you don't even realize how Canada changed you and makes you a better person. It's the winter. The winter. I don't like the winter because I came in here in August. I was like, yes, yes, I love it. But when September, October, November, and then December come, I said, no, I want to go back home. But I couldn't because everybody here was so welcoming and so encouraging. People coming from different country, uh, different culture, different mentality, coming together can bring a plus to Canada, and this is Canada. Thank you. Words of encouragement and appreciation from 29 immigrants joining the ranks of Canadian citizens. <laughs> The ceremony itself began with an indigenous dance to honor the people whose ancient lands the ceremony takes place on, and then words of advice from the ceremony's presiding official, TVO's Steve Pakin. Being a Canadian means a lot more than just simply having a piece of paper. It means sharing a common set of Canadian values, like learning how to skate or play hockey. Actually, I'm just kidding about that. You don't have to learn how to skate. But you should learn how to skate or play hockey. I play hockey every week still. I'm 57 years old, and I never feel more Canadian than when I'm playing hockey. So you should check it out if you haven't already. Classic Canadian humor to set up the moment everyone was waiting for. Please raise your right hands and repeat after me. I swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. The Oath of Citizenship a pledge to abide by Canada's laws and uphold the duties of a Canadian citizen. Congratulations, everybody. You are now Canadian citizens. Félicitations, vous êtes maintenant des citoyens du Canada. Special guests share their thoughts and wishes for the new citizens. I always think these ceremonies, in a way, it's like a wedding. Uh, you've been engaged to Canada for quite a while, and today's the day that you get married to Canada, and it has that <laughs> celebratory quality to it. You have been welcomed to a country, one of the few in the world, and to a province, one of the few in the world, where no matter what your race, no matter what your nationality, no matter what language you speak, no matter who you love, no matter what your faith, uh, you are part of our family and you are welcome just as you are. Maribel, the microphone is and I had a chance to share a bit of my own immigrant story. My father was a teacher in the Philippines. My mother had a housekeeper to help take care of the family. But they left it all behind because they wanted a better future for my sister and I. And I will always remain thankful my parents sacrificed so much. Canada made their sacrifice worth it. Then a chance to reflect on the moment from Canada's newest citizens. Well, it's a great day for us because uh, we have come all the way from our country to this country to become a, a privileged uh, and then respectable citizen of this country. 
I was uh, blessed enough to, you know, be part of this country and study in this country. Uh, so that has, you know, really given me that. Uh, Canada has given me this opportunity to uh, contribute to the society and be part of this great country. But some were also thinking beyond the day and what they hope to accomplish in their new home. I was thinking about the future, like what will it mean, what I have to, what is my responsibility as a Canadian now, what I can do to give back and to make my fellow friends or family, the newcomers here, to feel like home. Helping others who are in need, who needs help from us, that's how we help the community and society and uh, eventually to the country. God keep our land.